What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today, today I got a big day, and you're not gonna believe how this went down. Check it out. Well, guys, today started off um, like crazy. The market is up huge, huge, because there's a vaccine that has 90% uh, efficacy. So it looks like everything is just going insane. Everything except for the stay-at-home stocks like ZM and Netflix, etc. Those aren't doing too hot. But, you know, stuff like Boeing and Play and AMC, man, they're up big, 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 big. And uh, it's just because of that. And that's what we're going to see, you know, if, if these vaccines start to really take off, we're going to start to see those type of plays start to move. Uh, so the good thing for, for, for us, if you're like thinking about long term stuff, uh, is that those uh, those stocks are still pretty much, you know, uh, they haven't recovered as strong as the rest of the market so they still have a lot of upside potential so i'm going to be looking to see if i can grab some and put them in that long-term swing account as well as in my long-term uh retirement account where i already have stuff like cc ccl you know for for carnival uh cruise lines so you know that's long-term stuff and i'm talking about 24 years at this point almost 23 years uh time horizon on those holds so it doesn't mean i'm going to hold on to carnival for 23 years maybe maybe not i don't know but it definitely means that i have ample time to let that thing develop itself and i'm not in huge uh typically when i invest in the long-term stuff and that's not what this video is about but i'll let you know i i like to invest in funds or etfs etc you know so like mutual funds et or, or also etfs and then i have a few select st uh single stocks like carnival like tesla where i have very very small positions and i add here and there to those because you know long term now Today started off for me pretty crazy because since everything was insane, um, I didn't recognize that the platforms, the trading platforms were bogged down, super laggy, issues with customer service. You cannot get a hold of anyone at customer service. And for the first time, I've experienced what people experienced way back in early, like March, I think it was, where you had major lags and, and just really bad situations going on i experienced one of those today and uh i'm up really big on the day and so uh, in this case the the glitch or the issue went in my favor but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you the two trades that i have one of them is a red trade which was well within my risk tolerance the other one was a green trade which is a monster and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into that both of them are on bntx believe it or not i came into the day looking for like small cap action big time let's go because of uh what was it a q p o i don't remember that stock that went insane friday in the afternoon and the after hours that went from like 20 bucks to like 80 something yeah so i thought that would get the party started but today the, the market its entirety is up so much and large caps are up so big that small caps just went by the wayside with the exception of a a h t a h t i'll show you real quick here a h t T and uh, this one's been you know on a real nice move but other than that honestly it hasn't been much so bntx big gap up uh and it's faded zm was uh, looking like it was going to be weak but it's bounced back up so maybe it'll fade in the end of the day it'll break under vwap uh unsure but then you have stuff like amc look at this look at this move up from amc from two dollars and fifty cents on friday to a high today of 439 wow uh if you were like one of those people who said you know what i want to pick up a thousand shares of amc here it's pretty cheap and i can hold on to it and i was actually thinking about doing this last week and i can hold on to it for for a few months to see what happens you would have made a bundle today but hey it is what it is uh congratulations if somebody caught that and you know this is just what was going on look at boeing uh Going up big, you know, from 157 all the way up here to a high day of 180.88. Uh, just monster moves, guys. Look at this buy. Look at this thing. What is that? What a move. Like, it's just monster, monster day. And we're up there, you know, like all time highs. It's just amazing. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, the rest of the day. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into the BNTX trade. And I'm going to show you my plans on it show you the live trades 
and uh, we'll move along. But before we do, do me a quick favor, smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video and when I go live this month. I'm planning on doing one session this month uh, at night after market hours for just a standard Q&A. We're going to do a little Q&A. You guys can join in. We'll do a little chat, Q&A, and uh, answer y'all's questions, stuff like that. But then before that, I'm thinking I might do some other live uh, maybe a pre-market session or something here soon. Just test it out and, and get a feel for how live works before we do that Q&A. Because when we do the q and I want it to be, you know, uh, quality for you guys. So uh, that's probably what I'll do. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I go live as well. And uh, check out the links in the description section below. Uh, you know, I was looking at my scanners this morning and these are the trade idea scanners. If you want to take advantage of these scanners, uh, starting now through, I believe, the 20th, you can get two weeks of use of these scanners with the link I'm going to leave in the comment section for you for just $8.99. That's a no-brainer. You're going to get full access to trade ideas for just $8.99 for two weeks. It's like a little, a little bit of a test drive. It's totally worth it. You're going to be able to fiddle around with the program, get to learn it, and then decide if you want to actually invest in uh, these scanners uh, for your trading. So I use them every single day. And uh, they're great to me. I mean, I've, I've been using them since, I think since when I started paper trading, like years ago when I started learning. So I've, I've always liked trade ideas. Now, BNTX, BNTX gapped up, boom, news. It was, you know, a real big gap up, like it went from 92 bucks to a high day of 115. We pulled it in, we broke above BWAP volume. Let me move myself. Volume started to increase right here as we broke above VWAP. Then we started to hold VWAP. I said, okay, I'm going to get long in here because there was a FIB level in play as well. I'll show you that right here. We'll draw the Fibonacci retracement for you. Boom. Take it up here to the high day, which was uh, right at 115. Okay. And, and then you see you have VWAP and this 2036 all lining up in that general 110 area. So I got long 111.50, 111.54, and said my stop is 110. And I want to see a break over 112. We might go pre, you know, visit the, the, the morning's high or even pre-market where it had reached 120. I was like, this is a no-brainer. I'm going to give up a point and a half for the shot at making three to like, what, three to six points. This is a no-brainer, uh, maybe more. So I jumped into the trade, 100 shares, very small size. Uh, I thought maybe I can add over 112, if we really show some strength, some momentum on it. I can add over 112, another 100, and then, you know, we're in good shape. So that was the plan. It broke down. Now, here is where the fun starts, and I'll show you the live trades. Here is where the fun starts, because when it breaks down, I click, you know, I mark it out. I mark it out of my position, 100 shares. I clicked it nothing happened. I still showed an open position of 100 shares. That made me say, okay, maybe I didn't click it. Maybe I thought I clicked it, but I didn't click the little box. I might have clicked underneath it down here. So I clicked it again and nothing happened. I clicked it a second time and nothing happened. At that point, I said, oh no. What's going on here more than likely is that there's a lag issue. This position's already closed. And maybe now I ran the risk of opening a 200 share short position. But then I look here and it says hard to borrow. Okay, so look, boom, we can read it. Stocks that may be difficult to borrow for shorting purposes will be will have a hard to borrow indicator. If the stock you wish to short has this indicator, consider it may be difficult to fill your order for questions, shortable shares, availability. Please contact Charles Schwab's lending at you know, the phone number. So I said, oh, okay, it's hard to borrow. Probably I didn't even get those 200 shares. Let me just click cancel. I don't even know if the cancel was able to be clicked or if it was just like that, you know, all faded out. All I know is that out of nowhere, uh, a few minutes, I see 100 shares short on my position, on my open position box. I'm like, great. Then 200 shares short. And, I, and so then one of my favorite, I'm going to say, unfortunately, it didn't go to 400 shares short. It said a 200 shares short. And I said, okay, let me try to cover this. And I tried to cover it right then and there. I mean, it was going to be a small green on the day. I tried to cover it right then and there. But I was never intending to get short. All right. I was never intending to get short. So I tried to cover it. It rejected the order. It said that the ticker was not like the correct ticker. What do you mean? I haven't even changed anything. This is all what's happening as I'm, you know, going through it all. So I do it again and nothing. I must have clicked buy like three or four times. 
at which point I I started to feel not too good with the situation because I'm thinking to myself, okay, I have 200 shares short. I clicked by three or four times. So maybe the lag isn't showing me that I already covered the 200 shares short. And now I'm long another 100 to 200 shares. This is not good. At that point, I'm like, this is not good. But it kept me in the short. It never showed me that I covered anything. And I went into my order status box and I never saw any pending orders because it had basically rejected those covers. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, I'm in this position. I'm calling Charles Schwab. I'm chatting with them on the web, on the platform here. I am tweeting at them. I'm trying to close out the position. I was already like 1500 1500 bucks. I was trying to close the position. No dice. I'm calling with my cell phone. I have my wife's cell phone on the other side trying to call with that one too. You can't get through. The lines are sounding busy. You go through the prompts and then it crashes. Just a disaster. A complete and utter disaster. I don't even know how long I was in, in, these, in, this, in this play for. Then I decide, you know what? Let me try to just do one share. That way, if there's a lag, it's just one share. Who cares? So, you know, I mess around with that. Nothing nothing closes. Nothing opens. I'm still in those 200 share shorts. And I'm like, okay. I get up, walk around. You know, I'm still on the phone, come back. And then I try it again. One share. And it covers it. So it leaves me with 199 shares. I'm like, bang, I'm out. Market order uh, cover, you know, buy. And I'm out of that position. Banked uh, $1,400 and change. Then those two orders that I had bought earlier to try to cover those one share singles, I went out, I came back, okay? And when I came back, I had one of those open. Then a little, I closed it, I sold it. Then a little while later, another one opened. I'm like, oh boy, what if I have some ghost order out there and all of a sudden I'm gonna find myself along this thing. Uh, this is not gonna be good. Uh, I called in, finally got a human. They checked it all out for me. They said, no, you don't have anything else. All your positions are showing, you know, uh, adequate. So like if you were long 100 and you're close to 100, you know, et cetera, everything's good to go. Like, okay, good. So I banged out a big profit, you know, over, or, yeah, like over 1,500 bucks, you know. And my first sell was just that, that, that long that I lost 82 bucks on. So all in all in the day, I made... You know, after after this loss, almost fifteen hundred bucks in a day, I'll take it. But let me tell you, it was not fun. Let me show you the trades here. Let me see if I can gather those real quick. Okay, so here is the first one, which is the loss. Boom. Okay, BNTX. So as you see, I'm in here. We're holding that. Like I said, that one ten psychological. This 236 fib, this VWAP, we're holding that general area. I'm like, okay, let's see if we can get this red to green move popping off and get the party started. Uh, you know, I'll look to add over 112, which is the pivot. And this trade was three minutes and change. You'll see here when I start to stop out. Here, I thought we were really going to go. We even print 112. Look, see, right, right there, boom, 112. Look at it there on the time and sales. I'm like, awesome, let's go. But what I didn't like was that the volume was decreasing as we were trying to break that pivot. That made me feel like, oh, this is probably not going to work out. So I was getting ready to stop out if we got down there to 110. Now, let's see. Maybe we see here where I click sell. Let's watch that cursor there. Yeah, there I click sell. Boom, the order's out. And you see there is, look, I just noticed. Look at the cancel all. You see buy, sell, short, and then cancel all. Look, I click. The cancel all populates because the order is active. Since a market order got filled instantly, it goes away again, but it still shows me that I'm in an open position of 100 long at 111.53. Okay. Then, the, then I click sell. See, I click sell. I market sell or sold, sorry. And then you see the cancel all. Man, what a disaster. All right. Well, I'm glad it worked out in my favor. So, so then next, Okay, so here it is, and here you see that I'm chatting with them, but no one, because it's just a computer. There's nobody there. There's no live person. I'm like, I need major help. Can someone help me? I am in a position, but the system won't let me close. That's crazy. And then you see here, like, 
all my messages from like logging in and out because I was logging in and out to see if it would reset itself. Maybe it was just like a glitch here. I thought to myself, you see, I'm short 200 shares from a cost basis of 109. This thing made it all the way down here to a lower day of 98.51 and I still couldn't cover it down there. It would have been like a monster $2,000 win. So mad. Um, so I actually tried down there. Like I put one, one share by and it never filled. So I was like, why well, is still having issues? That fills like an hour later as a long and I made like five bucks on it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's insanity, guys. This was, look, here it is, 48 minutes that played out, three minutes left. This is a 50 minute trade because I was stuck there at their mercy. Mind you, I'm on the phone, I'm on the chat, etc. No help. So here I'm gonna try it again. I put once uh, one share on the uh, to buy back. You'll see it here. I'll do it right now. Let's see here. Let me fast forward just a tad. This video is already pretty long. There it is. Look. So I'll come here. Look. I'll put one share. Boom. And I just mark it, buy it. So see, I'm like, let me see if it fills. Watch, I click buy, boom, and it fills. 199, I'm only short 199 now. I immediately see that, I'm like, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of here. Boom, buy back, I'm gone, peace out. And I closed out my position. I was so happy at that point because, you know, booked a nice profit as you see here, you know, uh, 1550 bucks over that, $1,560. Then remember, later I told you these one share ones, like I made 264 on one, 481 on the other. I'm telling you, it's just madness. See, no other no other stuff in my p it's just that, that's what happened today. And you know, what sucks is I was, I was in this, and then here I was like, man, I wanna get short this again right here, and now purposely, uh, but I was afraid that I would have a similar issue, and then I couldn't cover, and it break up over VWAP and Rally in my face. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to put myself in that position. So I'm going to be extra conservative here. Just take this profit that I've made and I'm done. It would have been monstrous. I would have gotten short here 100 shares and I would have covered, you know, on the way back down here to like 102, uh, would have made another 300 bucks on the day. So it would have been great. But I couldn't bring myself to clicking the button because I was like, what if I click the button and then I go cover and it doesn't let me cover because of all the glitches. So I am done with trading today on this platform until things get a little bit more stable because it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Here, I'll show you my orders real quick. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's get here quantity filled. Here you go, BNTX. The initial buy at 111.53. I stopped out at 110.70. Okay, so I lost 80 bucks. Then I shorted 110.74 and 107.37. And then I covered, uh, these are those buys, those random buys that never should have been happening. You know, never because I try to cancel it. I click cancel and just like cancel pending, cancel pending for hours. So for my shorts, I covered at 101.38 and 101.26, and that was gone. And then these are those two singles from earlier from 10 from 99 and 101. I sold them at 104. Wild day, guys. Wild day, but happy to have booked a profit here. I'll show you today's change. Bring that down here for you, boom. And uh, I tweeted out my PNL as well if you want to see it in Twitter. Link in the description section to my Twitter account. I tweet out my watch list as well. So let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Did you have any of these glitches and problems with your brokers today? Comment that as well down there and smash the like button. I'll catch you on the next one.